What's up guys, GT Game here and welcome back to OCRP and today we are civilian and I'm doing what I've promised for what's been quite a few episodes right by now. We've got 630, pretty much $640,000 to play with and if we look on our map there are a few houses available. So there's one there, um, it says free property on the legend on the right, just ignore that, it's not actually free. So we've got 28 to choose from. There's Grapeseed, uh, there's a few in Polito, I think. There's just tons in the city. Um, are there any outside the city other than the Grapeseed and Polito ones? I don't know, I actually want to have a look through now see where they all are. A lot of them in Vinewood, Central LS, kind of what you'd expect. Uh, Franklin's house right there, and back to that one. Okay, let's just pop over and see how much this one is. I know, living in Sandy Shores can't be a bad thing, especially when you consider there's a garage right by there, so... How much is this? Because we have $640,000 to play with. Um, acquired properties... Oh, I'm not... It's available properties. 575000 You know what? We could afford that. But I want to have a look. It's a shame you can't look inside the property before you buy it. But... Um, yeah, I do want preferably a cheap one to start with because I want to buy a car as well. So 575,000, that would leave us with um, around about 60, 65,000 to play with to get a car. Um, I do have a car in mind that I want to buy. It's based off my friend's car, a car I've driven in real life. The um, Karen Karuma, I want it in yellow because that's what colour my friend's is. It currently has a broken clutch, my friend's, but... It's still faster than my car, even with a broken clutch. Only four hundred uh, pound to replace them. What's that? About five hundred dollars. So not that bad, considering it's a uh, th twenty, thirty thousand pound car. So it is pretty cool. It's a um, Mitsubishi Evolution Nine. My friend has, and we've taken it apart bit by bit um, to rebuild it, to clean it, and it's such an amazing car. I love driving it. Um. So yeah, I do want a Karuma, just because I like that car so much, I want one in this game. But I would settle for a lesser vehicle if we can't afford a Karuma, because I don't know how much they are. I think they're only about $30,000. Um, in case you're wondering, this bike, this is actually ours, so... Um, yeah, we own this. <laughs> There's not much more to say about that. It's a Pegasi Batty. Um, when did I buy this? Because... Well, you guys are like, I don't remember you buying that. Yeah, I bought this in an episode which was scrapped. It was a um, civilian episode back when I was doing civilian. And the footage was just absolutely corrupt. I was going to go for it then, but he was speeding a bit. So now I think my game plan on our lovely bike, which is actually ours. I like the fact that we own it. <laughs> I don't know why that pleases me so much. Um, we're going down to the city. I'm going to have a look at a few properties, decide which one I like best, which has the best location. Because I can't go inside them, as far as I know, then I'm going to have to choose it based on, one, what it looks like from the outside, like what sort of area it's in. Two, the price. I don't want, well, <laughs> I can't afford an expensive one, like over a million dollars. And three, the amenities nearby. If there's two properties, which I'm kind of split about I wouldn't mind having either one's near a garage and the other one's in the middle of nowhere I'm gonna go for the one near the garage because it's just more convenient so we are heading down to the city there's not many cops on at the moment but it is um, it's Friday it's midday for them for most of the people in here because most of the people live in America um, so yeah there'll be cops joining here and there throughout so we might bump into a cop later who's to say so I've been talking quite a long time, so I'm going to cut out this drive because I don't like to just sit here nattering on because, well, I guess boring after a while. So I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to go and have a look at some houses. Okay, guys, um, I've been thinking as I was driving down here and here is what my warped logic has come up with so far, um, to put it vaguely. If we look at the map, the areas, like the properties are in specific areas, so... We've got a cluster around here, this is like Vinewood area. We've got a few in Rockford, well actually just that one. Oh, and that one over there. 
We've got one in Vespucci, and then the rest are in sort of like central LS. And other than that, we got one in um, Sandy, one in Grapeseed, one in Polito. So, my thinking is, instead of going and looking at every single house, because that would get boring pretty quick, I'm going to choose them by area. So, I'm going to have a look at one house from each area. Um, and then I'm going to decide which area I like best and go look at the houses in that area. That kind of to narrow it down which one I want instead of seeing all of them. Um, so first port of call, since we're closest to it, I'm thinking Rockford. Um, sorry, um, what's this area called? Literally just said it, Vinewood. Um, that's Franklin's house, we know what that looks like. We can take a drive past these ones on the way there. Um, in fact, we could drive past all four of these, those two there, Franklin's and that one. And then have a look. In fact, we could just do a loop past all of them, why not? And then just stop at random ones to see how much they are. Um, I want to have a look at, I'm thinking this one up here. I think that would be the nicest. So we can route it up through and past all there. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Let's go and have a look at that then. Um... So, yeah, something unusual happened today. As you guys know, I like to come on OCRP, record a video, and bitch about how hard my life is when it's not actually very hard, because, you know, first world problems and all that shit. Today, something weird happened. I'm not going to moan about it, but it was just blatantly weird. So, I was at work. It was quite busy, you know, almost broke a sweat. <laughs> oh, God, can you imagine that? And I was chewing gum to pass the time. Walking along, pushing a cage, because I work in a warehouse. And as I was chewing the gum, I was chewing it on the left side of my mouth. And here's the weird part. The tuff on the right side of my mouth broke. Explain that. Gen like, the tuff just split in half, but it was nowhere near the chewing gum. I don't understand that. So here is... Just jump from topic to topic. Here is our first house. Let's have a look how much this one is. Get a general consensus of what we're looking at. Remember, we are we are shopping on a budget. Three hundred thousand. Uh, don't mind if I do. That was that wasn't three million. I did read that right, didn't I? Three hundred thousand. Why is the one in Sandy so much more? That doesn't make sense. Okay, what about this one? This oh my god, that was a steep driveway. You driving a parkway and park in a driveway. Explain that shit. Right, let's have a look. How much is this one? 300,000. That's curious. I do not understand that. Alright. Um, I'm going to go have a look at Franklin's now. Franklin's has got to be expensive. I mean, come on. It's a nice out. This is reckless as fuck, but okay. It's fine. I'm a cop. I'm allowed. Um, I want to go... Yeah, I'm going to go this way. To Franklin's. If Franklin's is 300,000, I don't know what the world is coming to. The weird thing is, though, I don't want Franklin's house, as weird as that sounds. Only if it's really, really cheap, like 20,000. Because, I don't know, everyone knows Franklin's house. There's no mystery to it. There's no, you know, I don't even know how to speak. It's not even Franklin's house, it's back there. Shows how much attention I pay to the map. Um,. Which one is it? This one here? Yeah, there it is. Not like there's a big blue glowing thing outside to indicate which house it is. Okay, so it's not Franklin's house. That's good. Right, how much is this? A 300 there? I think all the properties in this area are going to be 300,000. Let's just have a quick drive by this one down here to confirm it. Uh, it is this one here. Ooh, this one's nice. 2874 Hillcrest. Let me guess. 300,000. Yep. So every property in Rockford is 300,000. What about the rest of the map? Let's find one. Let's take a quick run down to the Vespucci one. I think this is like a luxury property, so this might be more. I know. Let's go and have a look. I don't... I don't know about this one. This is a little bit out of the way. Like... I have to go to, well, I usually go to um, Sandy or, like, Mission Row to clock on duty. 
This seems a little bit out of the way though. Because the nearest police station where I can actually go and get stuff done is Mission Row. And we are here, this is here, and Mission Row is all the way here in the other side of the city. So I'm not sure how this one work out. I just went through a red light. Well, I might as well keep up the street now. You know, I'm sure you guys don't want to sit there and watch me sat at a red light. Um, yeah, screw it. Legal. Oh, jump. Oh! You actually have to go inside to get in this one. If this despawns my bike, I swear to God, I will shoot this game in the face. Right, how much are you? Ah! 370,000, and there's two to choose from. Is there really no way to go inside? No. But you can apparently have more than one property, because it says acquired property is not acquired property. So I assume you can go inside, but that is more expensive, right. And there was me, for some reason, thinking it was 525,000. Um, just for clarity's sake, let's go have a look at one downtown. Uh, maybe this one. Hang on, isn't that the FBI place? Um, uh, is it? No, there's the FBI. That's IAA. So what's that? That would be. Is that Maze Bank Arena? I'm not sure. Oh well, let's go there and find out. And that is how you jump over a curb. Three hundred and seventy thousand. Huh. Right. Okay. So, from what I've seen, most properties in the city are around the three to four hundred thousand mark. Um, move out the way, truck. Next on the agenda, we've already seen Sandy's. So next would be Grapeseed. So I'm going to make my way there, slowly. Uh, red light, why not? Right on red, even though I was in the wrong lane. Yeah, I'm going to make my way to Grapeseed and... We are going to have a look how much that one is. My guess, in advanced, 575. That's what I think. Okay, I just quickly filled up with um, with gas. Um, didn't cut across the uh, motorway, I promise, the highway. Uh, where is the property? It's on Main Street, right. Um, best way to get to Main Street would be down here. This is stupid, but screw it. I'm allowed to be a little reckless, that was, I didn't realise there was a drop there. And then, yeah, just follow Sea View. Pretty simple. But, oof, I don't know, do I want to live in Grapeseed? I mean, it would be interesting, certainly. I don't know, if it's a decent price, I might actually consider this one, because it's quite close to Sandy. It's also fairly close to Polito, and I could start my shift in Grapeseed to see if anyone's out here see what's going on. And there's an airport nearby, I believe there's a garage near... Is there? I think there's a garage in Grapeseed, I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to have to have a look. Is there? Uh, yeah, there is, just up the road. That's perfect. And there's a uh, fuel station there. I don't know, Grapeseed might actually be a good place, but if it's 575,000, like I think it probably will be, not entirely sure about that. When I can get one for pretty much half price in the city. Um, how much are you? 575,000. I really don't understand this. Right, the last one is Polito. But I'm not going to have a look at that because I don't want to live in Polito. Yeah. Um, not really fussed on that one, to be honest. Okay, decision time. What property do we want? Um, hmm. Okay, here's my thinking. Both these two here, and this one, which I thought was Franklin's, they're right near Baytree Canyon Road, and that goes all the way up to the county. I could get to the county pretty quick up there. But they're also right in the city, so I could get to the city quick. There's a uh, shop there. Ooh, garage, though. Where's a garage? There's one there at the taxi rank. There's got to be a closer one than that. There's one there. Oh, there's one. Right to that apartment block. 
I completely missed that one. I didn't see that one. Okay, I want to have a look at that one. I think that would be awesome because I've actually seen that on GTA Online. I think that's a really cool property, so I'm going to go have a look. If that's 300,000, that's a steal. I'm going to have that. I think I'm going to have that one. If it's 300,000, I just bit my lip. Um, yeah, I don't see why I wouldn't have that one. I can get on Route 11 to get to work in Sandy. Um, it's near the one, so I could go all the way to Plito pretty quickly. There's a highway nearby, I think. Yeah, there is. So I could get up the 13. I could get through Vinewood. I could go to the city. There's a garage right underneath it. Um, I'm just trying to think of negatives. I mean, it's in the city, but... <laughs> The half price thing counteracts the fact that I wouldn't be in Sandy, which is where I'd like it to be. Plus, I think the quality would be much better in um, in the city. I think we're going to get that one. I'm going to have a look at it first, obviously, but I think we want to get that one. Okay, guys. There are now cops on, so we have to be more careful about driving. Um, I want to get in the right lane. And I am so confident that this property is going to be $300,000 that I'm going to the bank to take out $300,000 now. Uh, right on red, that was legal, don't worry. This isn't though. So yeah, I'm going to take out the money now, I'm that confident. And you see, when you get confident, that's when you get cocky. And when you're cocky, that's when you make a fool out of yourself. So, watch this be 370000 or something like that now. Um, so we got 40000 so we need... Uh, I'm going to take out 260000 Oh, that's deposit. Haha, <laughs> almost got caught out. God, this is the most amount of money I've ever had in my pocket. I'm actually nervous now, because if someone robs me, I'm screwed. And I've also got a gun out, but meh, who cares. Uh, this is legal. Right, let's go and have a look at this property. If it's 300000 I'm just going to straight up buy it. Then we're going to go and get a car. That is my plan. Uh, right on red, what am I doing? Right, we're here, we're at uh, Eclipse Towers. That's actually a pretty cool name. I would live in a place called Eclipse. Gun away, god damn it. And let's go have a look at this property. How much? Fingers, are, My fingers are literally crossed now, I'm not even kidding. Oh, my god, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. See, told you I was cocky. Um, we have so many to choose from the Moderna one the mode whatever that means vibrant Persian monochrome seducent I don't know what that means Rigel, regal however you want to say it aqua aqua sounds nice but we don't have enough I need another 71,000 bucks uh, bank where are you bank don't let me down there, there's one. Uh, is that the closest one? Yep, pretty much. I need to go to the bank. I will be back in a moment, Eclipse Towers. And I'm back. And now we need to choose a property. I, I'm assuming there is actually a difference. I'm guessing it's like the... Um, what's it called? The furniture and stuff. So monochrome is like grey and black. Modern is modern. Ugh, which one do I want? I don't want Persian. That sounds old-fashioned to me. Um, it probably isn't, but it does. I don't know, my brain works in weird ways. Modern? I mean, modern's nice. Mode? No idea. Vibrant? I mean, I do like bright colours. Persian? Nah. Monochrome? If it's done right, it looks awesome, but if not, meh. Said this song? I mean, Google Translate's in the house. I don't know what that means. Regal, same thing. Aqua. Um, you know what? Aqua. Because my best friend in school, she was obsessed with the colour aqua. She's moving to Spain soon, so... And I haven't seen her in two years. Not really. Eh, not properly, anyway. So... This is in honour of her, my best friend. I'm going to go for Aqua 2. Oh, you can visit them. Are you kidding me? 
Okay, I'm gonna have a visit. Ooh, this is nice. Eek, frame lags. Dude, this is raw. Oh, yes. Okay, this is my house. I'm buying this one. What's in there? I love those lights, whatever they are. That is cool. There's a door. Probably doesn't go anywhere. Yes, it does. Oh, dude, this is like my studio, but better. Oh, damn. This is awesome. Yep, I think I've discovered my new home. Loving the aqua effect. The fake fire. Dude, this is really nice. We got a telescope. Ah, I love it. I'm actually excited. That's like one of those cool ass docks, whatever they're called. Don't know. Apple dock, maybe. I oh, know. Don't like Apple. Don't buy them. Um, surprised there's not a door there. This must be a big bedroom then. Uh, so when am I moving in? Walk in wardrobe. I've never even been in a walk in wardrobe. I mean, I've stood in my wardrobe. Does that count? Dude, this is sick. Can you go through there? No, obviously. Um, okay, that's annoying. I really like this. What's in here? Ensuite? Yep. Ensuite with the uh, classic square bathtub. The prison toilet. I like the sinks, but I'm not a massive fan of that style of toilet. I like to do my poop on round ones. There's a nice shower there. Hard, oh, dude, I want it. Is there anything at I got a feeling there's three stories to this house. Or is that a different one? That's cool, that chair. I think I'm in love. Wait, hang on, there was another door. What was through the other door over here? Um, can you go through there? Or is that just... no? Right, I think we found our new house and we've got a garage. Exit. Yep, please. Hang on. It's showing the garage icon right there. Although it's probably just below it on the map. Yeah, there's no way the garage is here. Either way, though, I really, really like this. I think I'm buying this. $380,000 in our pocket, casually. Right, which one was it? Aqua 2. Um... Available, Aqua 2, buy. <laughs> I'm not rich anymore. <laughs> oh well, we got a house now. Right, car. Now it is car time, and we've got a lot of money to play with. Like, anyone fancy a supercar? Like, seriously. Um, before I go extravagant and spend all my money, stop rolling. Okay, my bike's just going to roll away. Make sure we got enough food and water. Yes, we do. At least for the time being. Right, uh, why am I getting my map up? I know where my car dealership is. I want to buy loads of properties now. Actually, that's a good point. When you click on a house, it says acquired properties. Does that mean you can a access your house from any other house on the map? Is it just the interior that you've bought or is it the actual... I'm going to test that now. Because it says acquired properties, so that could mean that you can get in any house from any other house. Let's try it. I might be absolutely crazy here, and it probably won't work, but oh, no, it's just the acquired eh, acquireties, acquired properties in that building. Jump. Ah oh, well, it was worth a shot, wheelie. And here comes the terrible pun. That was wheelie impressive. Uh, let's go buy a car. Okay guys, we're at the car dealership now, and here's the plan. I haven't got enough on me to buy the car straight up, so if I find the one I like, so I don't accidentally buy it, I haven't taken the money out, so I find the car I like, I drive my bike to the bank, and then I drive over to here to put my bike in the garage, and then I, I don't know, taxi, walk, whatever, just around the block, back to the dealership to buy the car, and then we go modify the car. I put way much more thought into that than I should have. Right, let's buy La Car. Oh, get in the circle, my friend. Mmm. Uh, I mean, it's nice, but no. Uh, what would it be under? 
Uh, probably sedans, maybe. Um, ooh. That's the Ferrari FF. Okay, this is our backup car. If I can't find the Karuma, this is what I'm having. Um, right, that's the Buffalo. Buffalo S, Carbon Azar. I mean, I don't have to show you every car. You've probably seen most of them. Drift Tamba, 80,000 bucks. I mean, we could. <gasps> Oh, I want that. Okay, that's our next car. Definitely a GTR. Like, seriously, dude, those cars are sexy. And you see, guys, this is why I can't be trusted with money. Um, I bought all of them. Which is... Um, yeah. Okay, the one I really want is the Karuma. So, obviously, you can see I've bought an LG, a GTR, <clears throat> sorry, terrible cough, and a Bestia GTX, <coughs> Ferrari FF. And today we're driving the Karuma. Oh, yeah. A <laughs> Mitsubishi Evo 10. <clears throat> and, um, yep, yeah, I'm turning this into the car I know and love and drive. So, loving that J turn I just did. <laughs> I want to take it to LS Customs, and technically I am a cop, so probably should start obeying the law. I need to put some petrol in it, some fuel, sorry, gas, whatever. Um, and I want to turn it into the car I've always wanted. The Mitsubishi Evo 9. I know this is an Evo 10, just don't worry about it. Okay, well I just found the glitch. Oh, get out of that camera. The armor. Starts at twenty thousand dollars and goes all the way up to just twenty bucks shy of what's that? Two trillion dollars? I mean, Bill Gates, can I lend some money? That is a little bit excessive. They probably don't want you putting loads of armor on your car because it's a police server. So, um, you know what? I don't need armor. Uh, brakes, yep, sure. Engine, oh, I mean, yep, why not? Suspension, transmission, please tell me I have enough. Just, oh, I don't have enough for turbo. And this is a turbo car. You know what, I'm going to the bank. I'm Isn't she gorgeous? My baby. My beautiful, beautiful baby. I'm going to call it Carlos. Why did I say that? Oh, you can't move when you're in that camera, apparently. But this is my baby. I've personalised it, not just with the red neons. Oh no, don't tell me red neons are illegal. Shit, I think they are. But either way, baller. Oh yeah, I'm a baller. Uh, is it visible from the front? A uh, little bit. Hmm. Um. Okay, I'm just going to deal with it. <laughs> Why not? Because, uh, I mean... Actually, no, I have a plan. Oh, this is clever. Okay, guys. I've registered the car. I've changed the colour so it's now legal. I want to go for a drive. I don't care that I've been recording for two hours. Just this episode, yeah, seriously. I don't know how time passes so fast. My tuff is still hurting though. I chipped it. Ugh, that sucks. I can feel it. I must sound so retarded right now. But either way, oh, right on red. I am going f to drive this. I'm out of fuel. Oh god. No 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 no. Ah, uh, please tell me the fuel station. Fuel f f f f f fuel. There's no fuel station. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, I'm flooring it. I don't care. Oh my god, we're gonna make it. We have to make it. This is a fast car, we've got to make it. <laughs> Why does it do that? Why can't it just cut out for a second instead of locking the wheels? Okay, well, I was going to drive it fast elsewhere, but this is the only way we're making it. So, I'm sure I can... Um, you guys can look the other way. God, I hope I make it. Literally on empty. Real cars don't do this. Oh my god, it is so bad. This is actually tense. If I don't make it, I'm screwed. I don't know what we're going to do. Okay guys, the sun has set, it's getting dark, and this rally car, this Evolution 10, 9, whatever you want to call it, my baller, is on its natural territory. 
dirt and concrete roads. Oh yeah. So we are going to do some rally driving. Are those real people or are those AI? Either way, I don't care. I'm doing some rally driving. Just a quick test to see how this baby handles and I'm taking it back to the garage. Oh yeah. So I don't want to go too crazy in case I break my car, which I really don't want to do. This was expensive. Like that, for example. Oh, I hit a post. That's fine. It's only minor. As long as I don't have to call a tow truck out to the middle of nowhere, I'm fine. And bridge. God, this is handling good. Other than the fact I spun out. Just ignore that. That was my fault. Oh, God. This is really grippy. But then the real car is, you know, taking roundabouts at 120. I mean, I've never gone above 70 miles per hour. I think I got away with that. Shoot me. You fucker. How did that even happen? You know what? It still works. It's fine. We're going to keep going because whatever. If it happens again, though, I probably won't be so lucky. Ugh, I nearly did it then. Don't think the real car quite does that, but you know. Oh, that's reckless. Down this little narrow country lane thing. I only rolled my car once so far. I mean, I've only rolled my car once. It won't happen again. Oh, I love the sound of the turbo and the revs when it does that. And then the changing gear. Oh, it sounds so good. And cut this corner. That was actually a really good corner then. And straight up here, up the hill, drop the gear. Well, you would in real life. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I made it. Oh, I didn't realise the road turned then. Holy shit, a doodle. Yes, I made up that word. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. I'm good. God, I was doing so good till then. Look at the back. <laughs> that was worth it. It's worth it just to see the back of the car do that. Ow, my tooth. Right, two wheels again. Uh, the finish line is O'Neill Farm, so I'm going to go this way. Frame lags, that's not good. Fence, that's not good either. And then take a right, right. Probably should have handbrake turned that. It, come on. And final back stretch onto the concrete. If a cop sees me, I'm so in trouble. <laughs> I'm not even joking. And around there, that's a ditch. I got away with that. <laughs> so I know it's nauseating first person, it makes me feel sick sometimes anyway, but I can't drive in third person for shit as you've seen. I can't drive for shit anyway, so meh, what difference does it make? Let's do the part, last part in third person and handbrake turn for the win. Anyway guys, thank you so much for coming out, I need to go fix my car. Um, but yeah, this has been awesome, we have a house and a car now, which is absolutely sick. So make sure you come back for the next episode where we will be once again Elio. Kind of let my reckless side slip out a little bit in this one. Not a criminal episode, it's civilian. Just want to point that out for legal reasons and to stop me getting in trouble. But thank you guys so much for coming out. Make sure you come back for the next episode and I will see you then. Peace out guys.